Welcome back guys. Today I got a quick tip for you, a little different than some of the stuff we normally do. Today I'm going to show you an easy way to tan a snake hide, or a snake skin. Uh, the easy way you can do it, you can go to any uh, store and get this stuff. You can get it at uh, Walgreens, CVS, Walmart, HEB, uh, Kroger's, Kmart, anywhere where there's pretty much a um, pharmacy type area. So, this snake skin, I skinned and fleshed out and then I dried with salt for a couple days. This is a cotton mouth. Um, I'm thinking about maybe using this for a hat band on my hat. So, here's what you need. Glycerin, 90% alcohol, and a jar. Basically, uh, after you dry your snake skin out, and this is optional, I've seen people put it straight into the solution um, right after fleshing out. But I dried mine out. Now there are actual tanning solutions you can buy. Um, I believe Cabela's, Gander, uh, Bass Pro Shop, all of them sell those uh, actual tanning solutions. Usually you do like a drying step, a pickling step, and then a tanning step. Uh, but this one here is just kind of a homebrew kind of thing. It's been around for a long time. So it's a 50-50 mix of the gly uh, glycerin and the alcohol. So you're going to dump all your alcohol inside of a mason jar. And you can use a larger container if you've got a larger snake. Um, but this is uh, maybe a foot and a half cotton mouse. So this uh, jar right here is going to be perfect. So drop all of our glycerin in there. And to get the 50-50 mix right easy, we're just going to use the glycerin jar as our measure. So, I'm gonna fill that up. So, gonna shake this up, make sure we get everything in there. Now glycerin has preserving properties, so does alcohol. In fact, it even uh, says on the bottle for glycerin you can use it to preserve flower petals. So if you see right now, it's separated, so you gotta give it a good shake. Alrighty, so that's our solution. Now, when you dry your skin and you put it inside of your, your solution, you have to make sure your skin is completely uh, unfolded. It's not folded anywhere. You gotta get the solution everywhere. So that's when I salted this out. I made sure I got all the salt and all the cracks and folded thing. And you want the skin to be completely submerged. Now when you're drying, you're doing your drying step, you're going to notice some scales are going to fall off. That's going to be normal. You want to kind of place this in here. And also, if you do the drying step, you're going to want to get as much of the salt off as possible before you put in your solution. Jade is going to drop it in just like that. You got to make sure your skin is completely submerged. that's completely submerged. Next, you're gonna let sit for three or four days. Uh, come in and shake it, stir it occasionally, make sure uh, everything's covered. Um, and I'll be back with y'all in three or four days for the next step. All right guys, welcome back. So, 
going back here with the cotton mouth skin um, for this tanning process. Now I let this sit for a little over a week um, as opposed to just three days. Uh, you don't really need to do it this long. Um, to be honest, I just kind of not got around to it, but it's not going to hurt it for it to sit this long. So you can see it's been soaking in there. No air bubbles. No real uh, discoloration and stuff. That's a good sign that I got a lot of the fat and meat and stuff off the skin. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull it out, try to pat it dry as best I can here with paper towels, and I got a board with wax paper on it. And I'm going to lay it lengthwise and stretch it out over this wax paper and tack it down. Um, the reason I'm using wax paper is so it doesn't stick and it'll be easy to pull off and attack so I can actually dry it flat and keep it stretched out and not worry about uh, any kinks or anything forming it as I dry. So let's get into it. Now I have no idea how bad this is going to smell when I open this. So if you hear me cough or something, uh, you know it's pretty bad. But let's see. Yeah, it just smells like rubbing alcohol. A lot of rubbing alcohol. So, let's see. Reach in here. Pull this out. And I'm going to just kind of let it flow down off of the skin. Now at this point, it feels very, very thin and kind of oily um, from the glycerin. And you can see it's actually almost translucent. I don't know if that's because of the size of the snake it was. Its skin itself wasn't very thick. But, okay, let's lay this out. Let's close this up. Now you can save your uh, tanning solution. There's nothing really wrong with it. No reason you can't save it. So if you want to save it, go for it. It's not gonna hurt anything. Um, just uh, don't accidentally let anyone drink it. And over. Now 
obviously most of the uh, solution is soaked into this side where the meat and the fat was. The other reason I'm using the wax paper is it is going to kind of stick in a way and kind of suck it down to it. Yeah, at this point, you also have to be kind of mindful of where you want, what part of the skin you want to actually use. You don't want to try to put any tack holes through anywhere that you're going to use on the skin. That's how fragile it is. It's real easy to kink it. this craps all over my hands. Man, I tell you what, it's a lot harder than I thought it was gonna be. Figuring yellow pine being soft and all would be easy to put a thumbtack through, but it doesn't appear to be the case. There we go. Just enough to keep it pretty flat. Now you are going to have scales fall off. Um, that's kind of inevitable. But the color, the pattern, it's still gonna be there under the scales. So don't worry about it too much.
I'll be back with y'all in a couple days when this is all dry so I can show you pulling it off and how it is when it's all dried out. I'm gonna go wash my hands before I touch my camera. So I'll see y'all next time. All right, guys, we're back. So, I let this dry for a couple days on the wax paper and the board, and now I just now pulled it off, and as you can see, it is completely dry. No moisture on it whatsoever. It's got a gloss to it, and it's pretty flexible and workable. Now your snake skin is perfectly ready to go on a hat band or a belt whatever you're thinking about putting it on I don't know I'm thinking this might end up on my hat so there you go that's easy way to tan and preserve a snake skin at home for just a couple bucks and if y'all notice up here you'll see the newest addition to our gun wall it's the 1967 Marlin 336 3030 lever action rifle that I'm currently restoring. So there's going to be a whole video on that, so stay tuned. And I'll see y'all next time. Y'all have a good one. Be sure to come over here and subscribe. And of course you have to hit the little bell. Otherwise we want to show up in your notifications each time we post a new video. And check us out on Facebook and give us a like. We post all of our content there as well as long as some pictures that we take speaking of instagram you can check us out on instagram too we post all of our pictures some short clips that don't end up on youtube along with a little bit of funny stuff some game recipes and we're also on twitter you can check us out on there some of our posts we keep everyone kind of uh in the queue along what we're on to and what we're up to and what we're doing um, along with some other posts about some other things that we like. So be sure to check us out on Patreon. We could always use the support. We got a lot of cool stuff coming up. But that stuff kind of isn't cheap. So every little bit of support helps. And will help us get out some good content for everyone to see.